Hello, so today we are going to take a look at crank Nicholson method to see whether we can solve the parabolic PDE using MATLAB programming. So first of all, we can see parameters input section where user can input lambda value, delta x value, time step size, the length of road, x0, xn and the number of iteration that they want. Then they can manually put the initial condition and boundary condition for their cases. So next, I'm going to explain how my program works. So basically, this is the main equation for Kranikosal method. We can divide this equation into three types of nodes that we can see here. So first, for, for x1, we can see that we can carry over the i minus 1, which is the x0 value to the right hand side, because we know that value and can solve it. So for x and x minus 1, we can carry over the i plus 1 value because we know the boundary value of x and x. So for the right hand side, we will denote it as d. And for the left hand side, we can really predicate using the lambda value. And it is will form tridiagonal matrix that consists of side diagonal, main diagonal, and super diagonal value. And then we can solve the inverse equation to get the u or the temperature value. Alright, so next, let's get back to the equation. So for this case, see this is the left hand side of the equation of super diagonal, sub diagonal, and main diagonal. So next, we will have time loop to iterate it until the iteration that the user already input, and then position loop will loop according to three cases. So for the left side cases, right cases, middle case, as I mentioned earlier. And then we'll transform the A, B, C constant into row vectors of B, B, C, C, and A. Then we'll put that that value into P, Q, R, and S. I visualize here. This is how it will look in the vec in the uh, vector form. And then the D value will be represented by S. Then we'll call the trigonal solver to solve this P, Q, R, S. And for this case, we'll use a Thomas method, which use forward elimination and back sub substitution so next we get we use format short g to get a short answer of five decimal point and since we use 5000 as a boundary equation it is important to put the format of short g then we put output of the data in plot the 3d graph for temperature distribution to see how the temperature will change over time okay so let's run so what is the lambda value 0 0.03669 delta x value will be 1 meter time step size will be 30 second length of road is 5 meter x0 value is 0 xn value is 5 number of iteration for 30 second to get into 30 minute there will be 60 iteration okay so first of all we take a look at the common window and compare this value that we got to the uh, to our manually calculated value so we have the manually calculated value right here so as we can see the value is is almost similar uh, it's almost similar as what we have counted in the parabolic solver in the MATLAB so we can also see the graph here figure one so over time the not the second knot after 30 minutes we get up to temperature of 3100 for not number 3 it will get 1600 for not number 4 it will get 700 and not number 5 it will get up until 290 so after 30 minutes we can see that the temperature of the metal will get quite high so it will be susceptible to stress corrosion cracking as it is exposed to high chloride condition of the seawater so for this result, we can further have a more accurate representation of the data by increasing the number of nodes between the first and last nodes. So this Kranikosa method should have the highest accuracy as it has the highest order compared to the explicit and implicit method to solve the parabolic PDE. So that's all for me today. Thank you.